the Nikon Coolpix A is Nikon's first APS-C compact. It follows Fujifilm and Leica into that odd pricing limbo between $1,000 and $1,300. While more people are buying enthusiast compacts, they're not so enthusiastic about the price range. Fujifilm and Leica both offer a rangefinder-like shooting experience for the extra money, but Nikon instead delivers great photo quality in a well-built compact body that's more like a point-and-shoot than most enthusiast compacts. Though it has a fixed focal length 28mm lens, it extends and contracts like a zoom. That enables it to have a built-in lens cover, which is a nice change from the other models and their extraneous lens caps. It also slows the camera down a bit, though. The all-metal body is nice and has a substantial feel with a reasonable grip. Aside from the two user setting slots on the mode dial and a separate adjustment dial, plus the two programmable buttons, the rest of the camera operates like a typical point-and-shoot. The control dial seems underutilized, with no way to program the navigation buttons for direct access controls. As you'd expect, it has a manual focus ring, and it has a pretty nice feel. There's a magnification window for focus assist, but no peaking like on the X100S. Performance is mixed. It has great shot-to-shot -shot speed and fast continuous shooting, but the autofocus system and lens are a little sluggish, just like the rest of its competitors. Battery life is even more disappointing, though. The real strength of the camera is the photo quality, thanks to a nice sensor and lens. Photos come out sharp, metering and exposure systems are consistent, and the colors are accurate and pleasing. I like the camera. It produces great photos. But it lacks the extra je ne sais quoi that I expect to justify a price tag over $1,000. And if you're not a pixel peeper, you may not think it's worth a few hundred more than something like the Sony RX100. I'm Lori Grunin, and this is the Nikon Coolpix A. Thank you.